Now this is a story about 80 years ago. There's this guy called Jim Murphy and Dave Anderson. Dave Anderson used to work for the American Railways. He used to shift the gravel and put it back on the track. When you travel by train, have you seen some of these laborers who have this spade and they put things and put it on track, these chota chota pathars. Have you seen those people? Okay. So that was the work of Dave Anderson. And he was the head of a group of people who were working over there. One day, as all the laborers were working on the tracks, from a distance, a small private train came. Now, private train means it had one engine and it had just one coach. Now, this belonged to the chief of American Railways. So, the train came, it stood next to the siding and from the coach, a hand came out and a voice appeared. Hi, Dave. How are you? And Dave immediately replied, Hi Jim, I am good, how are you? Jim Anderson, who was the chairman, from inside says, Did you have your lunch? No, I haven't had it yet, answered Dave. Well, come over. And the two of them sat inside. The other laborers could hear laughter. They could hear the sound of the utensils. And for one and a half hour, Jim and Dave had a beautiful time inside the coach. After one and a half hours, Dave came out and the private train which had only one passenger, that is Jim, continued. All these people who were the laborers looked at Dave and said, You mean to say, you know the chairman? He said, yeah. How? He is a good friend. But you are a laborer, he is the chairman. How are your friends? He said about 23 years ago, both of us had come to work in this company. Then what happened? He says there was only one difference. While Jim came to work for the United States Railways, I had come to work for a dollar and 75 cents. Jim had come to work with a purpose. Dave had come to earn a little money and no purpose. The beginning of both of them was the same. But the way they progressed in life later on was completely different. Do you know, 1% people on this planet earn more than 99% of wealth. And 99% of people on this planet earn 1% of wealth. So one Larry Ellison, one Sergey Brin, one Steve Jobs, one Bill Gates, one Warren Buffet, one Jack Ma of Alibaba. Now these ones, which is less than 1% of the population of the world, earn 99% of money. And the other 99% put together earn 1% money. And this 1% which earns 99%, what is remarkable is they do not have any special talent. So they don't have that mind where they can see a photograph and immediately it becomes a memory. They don't have some special skills with their hands. They are not born with any God-given special qualities. My essential question to all of you, do you want to be the 1% who earns 99% or do you want to be the 99% who earns 1%? So how many of you want to belong to that 1% which earns 99%?